guys, welcome back to another video and today I am back on the Farm Stairs server. That threw me for a loop. Wasn't the portal down here originally? <laughs> the, over the time I've been off, which was a day, that scared the crap out of me. I thought I was going to be lost forever. Okay. Ouch, 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 ouch. So I spent a little bit of time at the Blaze Farm just to get some Blaze Rods so we can smelt up some stone. Um, these are going to be generally, I think, maybe short episodes because I am a little short on time recording-wise. Um, <clears throat> but... I apologize for not being able to get out as much Mirror's Edge. And I think that's why people aren't watching these as much. I think I'm posting a little bit too much of Minecraft, and that's... I don't know. Is that what the problem is, guys? Because I'm getting less and less, less, less views. And I think it might be because I'm posting too much Minecraft. Maybe. Okay, can I shoot you? Splam! Yep, there we go. I did hit him. I thought I was going to miss. Oh, I uh, also, before before we do anything... Wow, you're, you're stupid. You didn't even hear me coming over here. Dragon of Fate. No one's even seen him on here for a while, I don't think. Um, before I do anything at all, we need to go check out Valrotho, Valrotho's house. Because I have heard that it's pretty awesome. So, I'm gonna go start smelting these blaze rods. Er, smelting the blaze rods. No, smelting uh, some stone with the blaze rods. And then I'll see you at Valrotho's house. Okay, guys. So, this already kind of looks impressive as you're coming up to this. This little staircase here. But as soon as you get up the staircase... Oh, weird. You see this? Now, at first, you may be thinking, oh, uh, also the sign says... Valrotho, welcome to Soranani and Valrotho's home. So, right up here, they have a little horse pen, which is very, very nice. I think they have all the horses that ever existed in this place, because I can't seem to find any anywhere. So this is... This is the tester for speed. Now, I think this is just another entrance. I don't think this is the way you're supposed to enter. But here is the main entrance, it looks like, since this is where the red carpet... The red carpet usually says, Hey, I'm the main entrance. You gotta go in this door. You have no choice. And... Kabam! Yeah. Staircases. All over. It's pretty fancy. Zoom! So let's head over this way. Looks like some chest storage rooms. Uh, maybe unfinished? No, 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 no. This is not unfinished. This is a very finished storage room, it looks like. I can see that ours is going to be too small. And we'll have to expand it eventually. But, yes, very, uh, pretty good setup, actually. That's really compact. I, I don't know if they're doing anything with this wall, but... Um, well, I guess I would have gotten at the same place. So over here, we have a little enchanting thing that's floating in the air. Oh, oi. A little bit of falling damage, not, won't do any harm, except for the fact that my ankles are broken in many different areas. But I'll be fine. Come on, water. Get out of the way. Move. Move! You can swim, come on. There we go. Okay, this... I'm not too sure what this is. Ooh, ravine. That's a cool overview. Whoa! Picture land. Now, is there... There's, a... There's gonna be a door back here. I can guarantee... I guess not. I guess I can't guarantee there's a door back there, but... So it looks like this is a work in progress up here. What? Is this a mob farm? Oh yes, it is. 
So they've got like a fully automated house. Like everything here, and this is an automatic fisher, I think. So they've got pretty much everything you would ever need to survive in their house. Very, very nice. I like the design. Oh, what is this? Oh. It's kind of scary here. Oh, wow. That is lucky. You know, how far down did this staircase go? And how did they get the items up there? Oh, goodness. Well, oh, you know, I know how they do it, but... Well, I think I'm gonna go back over to our house, because... Or my house. Ay! My house, because, uh... If I went and took the time to explore their entire house, I'd probably have made up the entire video by exploring the house. So, I will see you guys when I get to the house. Okay, guys, I'm back now. Uh... For some reason, only one furnace smelted? I know, I don't think any of them should have. They should have all just not done anything, but some of them did, apparently. Which is strange, because they weren't supposed to, because I was out of the chunk. Don't you just love that sound? No, no one does. I will take those picks. But this episode, uh, hmm, what should we do? We've explored a little bit of Valrotho's house. I guess what we should do this episode first, let's go up and check Spiffy. Spiffy! Spiffy! What are you doing? Hi, Spiffy! Stinking Spiffy stole my chest plate. Jerk. Okay, so I suppose we should get started on the wall here. So I don't plan on doing too much with this. Actually, you know what we should do? Let's let's go uh, make some staircases because what we need to do is we need to make the stairs. We need to make stairs for these uh, this thing down here. Let me make a bunch of stairs. Just a bunch of stairs. This is not going to be... This is near to nothing, basically, right here. Uh, I think we should leave what we have up there, just the way it is. So we're going to put stairs all the way across like this. Uh, so that's the plan. Oi. There we go. Um, so guys, I need you to leave comments to tell me what you want me to do in these videos. If you have any ideas, if I should build something specifically. Because, really, I kind of... Whoa. Oh, there you are. I need some comments to figure out what I want to do in the videos. I was not prepared for this video at all, was I? Okay. Well, there's no one on the server, which is also an issue. I go to bed. Good thing, uh, Spiffy isn't too close to the bed that he keeps me from sleeping. That would suck a lot. You should be... Here, burn, dude. Burn. Um, so I'm not too sure what I should do this episode. Really, I mean, I don't have many, many things planned. I was hoping to do, like, uh, some caving with somebody. Abba caving or whatever it's called. I mean, I guess I could still see if I can do that, but maybe not. That'll probably be something for, like, another episode. But today, probably what we could do is something. I don't know. I don't know what you guys enjoy. Do you enjoy me building? Do you enjoy me killing monsters? What do you guys enjoy? Nothing. I, I don't know why. <laughs> I was sitting there waiting for an answer, and there was no answer, because you're not going to answer. It's... The comments don't don't go as I'm recording my videos because that would be kind of weird. I guess I could talk a little bit about what we're gonna see on this channel. So I am gonna get back to uh, Mirror's Edge. It's probably gonna get uploaded, maybe if I'm lucky, on the same day as this. 
but it might not. Um, and there is now a trailer of Five Nights at Freddy's 3, which I would definitely plan to do, and actually, uh, I need to do a challenge for somebody. Somebody gave me a specific challenge. They gave me, uh, here's what the AIs for this animatronic should be, and here's what the AI for this animatronic should be, and so forth. Um, and they gave me a challenge that I should do, uh, I should record it for Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Uh, I didn't specify what it was, but... I'm very excited for Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Uh, so, this episode... I'm at a loss of what to do. I, I'm not too sure what I should build, uh, because I'm not sure if you guys find it interesting when I'm building or not, or if you just don't enjoy it at all. Because I don't get any comments. I really do need comments, because if I don't get comments, then I can't figure out what to do. Or what you guys like, and if I should do that on camera or off camera. So, I guess it's gonna be kind of like a... Talking video, maybe? Like a vlog-ish thing? But really, you guys do, uh... Please, leave some comments. And I know, like, some of my friends watch my videos. If you have any ideas, leave a comment. And... I know you could probably tell me some other place, but leave a comment so other people can build off of that comment. So... Because I'm not too sure if you guys actually enjoy watching me build. I don't know, because at the beginning I got like 19 views in 4 days, and now I'm getting 5 views in 4 days. There is a drop, a big, big drop, and I don't know where it's coming from. It might be just because I'm posting too many. If I'm posting too many videos, then I don't know. But if you're not finding them interesting, then leave some ideas, because I don't know what you guys would like to see. I mean, I got a bunch of likes on the tour, but I can't do a tour every day, because I've toured a lot of the server already. So, what do I do here? That's my question. Okay, guys, so what I've decided to do was I would just talk about what you might expect to see on this channel and maybe talk about Five Nights at Freddy's 3 a little bit. So I guess I should get started with Five Nights at Freddy's 3 since everyone seems to love Five Nights at Freddy's, and I do too, don't get me wrong. But, uh, so what it looks like Cawthon did here was... Apparently, the game takes place after the first game. So, 30 years later from the first game. Oh, sorry, Nanny. Uh, so, this all occurs afterwards. So, this is far, far, far into the future. So, this is past. This is 2000-something. And it's not, it's not a uh, pizza place anymore. Nope. They've decided to turn the Fazbear Company into a horror house thingy, a horror, like, scary death, I'm gonna scare you, jump scares kind of thing. For, it's, a, it's like an attraction now, because everyone remembers the stories, and they wanted to make something out of the stories by getting a bunch of the things, so they made, I think, a house, or so, not maybe not a house, but a building where you could go in and get scared. And they found one animatronic character in the back of the Five Nights at Freddy's stores, or rooms, from Leftovers, basically. And they're using that one guy, and he basically looks like, uh, I could probably find a picture and put it up, but he looks like a Golden Bonnie, almost. Like, you know Golden Freddy? He looks like that, except Bonnie. So that's, that's what the animatronic looks like, but what I'm looking towards was, it looked like, according to the, actually, let me go bring it up on green light, and then, uh, see if I can find it. Five Nights at Freddy's 3. <laughs> okay, so, no, don't, don't start playing sounds. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, I thought maybe you went into different rooms, but it appears you don't actually go to different rooms. You're kind of just in the same place, as always, but the graphics look a lot different. And it's definitely not... Strangely enough, actually, 
It says, uh, here's what it says. 30 years after five, or Freddy Fazbear's Pizza closed its doors, the event took... The events that took place there have become nothing but a rumor and a childhood memory. But the owners of Fazbear Fright, the horror attraction, are determined to revive the legend and make that experience as authentic as possible for patrons, going through great lakes to find anything that might have survived decades of neglect and ruin. At first, there were only empty shells, a hand, a hook, and a paper doll or paper plate doll. But then a remarkable discovery was made. The attraction now has one animatronic, which I don't even know where the animatronic came from. But it's scary as crap. It's very creepy. Uh, I'm confused. Because it didn't look like it should be... It, it shouldn't be running out that quickly. Should it? I thought blaze, or blaze Rods went on further than 12. I guess I was wrong, but I, I swear it went longer than that. I guess not. No, it does go fast. Okay. But, uh... Oh, uh, now I've lost my train of thought. Now, yeah, I don't know where this animatronic came from. Like, nobody's ever seen this from any of the series. It looks like Bonnie in Golden Bonnie. And... Where did it come from? I mean, how come we never saw this in the background of places? Where did they put it? And is it possible that when they said a gold suit, it may not have been Golden Freddy, since this thing is also a golden suit? This could be the thing that the, uh, the phone guy, because everyone pretty much at this point believes the phone guy was the killer, killed the kids in. He tricked them and got uh, put on that suit. This could be the suit that he used, instead of the Golden Freddy. But we don't know, because we didn't get to see it anywhere else. Golden Freddy was in there, and it makes more sense if it were Golden Freddy that it's, that he t stole the suit with. Then the next question is... Why... First of all, Five Nights at Freddy's, as we all know, is... Like, it's got that feeling of, okay, you're going to get attacked. You don't have say in whether or not you're going to get attacked because you are. You just are. You don't really have a choice in whether or not you get attacked or not by the animatronics. It's not like, hey, there's a malfunction. But what's the reason? Why is it attacking this time? Because you would think that they would be careful about this animatronic since it seems every other man anima man animatronic no animatronic always has a problem so you would think they'd be careful with it to make sure it didn't have problems and the next question is what are you going to do with storyline because scott Cawthon, it sounds like he's killed off the purple man what do you do without the purple man he, there's no phone guy this is 30 years later after the events of the first game, right? So, what do you do without the Purple Man? Because there's no, like, advancement of the storyline. There's no guy leaving calls for you anymore because he's dead. And the Purple Man was the killer. And the, in the game, is basically based off of the child children being killed. So what do you do? Oh, this is gonna look a little weird. Yeah, this is gonna be weird. Oh well. I can probably fix it later. I don't think I can fix anything at this point because... Ouch! Of the way I built this. But, anyways, what are you going to do with storyline? Because the purple man is gone. Or it, it, he's assumed dead. Because we heard the Golden Freddy suit attack him. The Golden Freddy. Because you hear uh, at the end of the last call that he's alive in, or supposedly alive in, is the one where after it ends, right before it ends, you hear him go oh no. And then you hear the Golden Freddy scream, and he's dead. Or we assume. Is it possible that maybe it was a hoax? And that he's actually alive? And he was just doing that to get people off his back? He could be alive still. He might not be dead. That seems like a long shot, but what are you going to do? You don't have the purple man anymore because he was the main... 
he was basically where we got the basic storyline from. And without basic storyline, we don't we can't really advance super far on storyline. And then if this is all just childhood rumor, I don't think 30 years is is far enough away for it to be childhood rumor. And again, it brings up the question, where did this animatronic come from? Because this animatronic looks nothing like any of the other animatronics, and why is it golden? And the last question I have to ask is, is Golden Freddy actually, like, a hallucination? Because he's obvious. well, no, he's not a hallucination, because he obviously killed the phone guy. Now, if the phone guy is alive, then I don't know. But we know it's not a hallucination, because you can be killed by it in the second game. So, what's going on here? Did the phone guy get killed, or the murderer? But we're assuming it's the phone guy, because... Proof. Just go look it up. But, uh... He got killed by the suit he was in. Now, what killed him? Golden Freddy. But is Golden Freddy haunted? Are we using logics here in this story? Or are we... What? Okay. Or are we going, like, all... Scary... Story time... Stuff. Are we not using any, like... Okay, this is what would actually happen in real life. There's actually a killer in there that's killing the phone guy because he's mad. Because... What doesn't make sense is the fact that Golden Freddy doesn't have an endoskeleton. He's just the suit. So how did he kill the phone guy? Because in the first game when he kills you, you don't do anything. Your game just freaks out. Oops. So what happened to the phone guy? Because if you don't really die, does that mean the phone guy's not dead and he's just somewhere else? Or is he... What, what's going on here? That's... That's a question I've always asked. Since in the first game it appears that Golden Freddy doesn't kill you because your game crashes... Are you dead? Are you... Alive? What's going on? Are you in limbo somewhere? These are questions I ask, and they'll probably be, be answered in the third game, which is, I hope, comes out soon. Uh, actually, how does this look? Actually, that doesn't look too bad. I thought that would look really weird, but it doesn't. Now, since that's like that, can I... I could do that. No, no, I couldn't. Never mind. I was gonna put a staircase there and have it, because I saw, like, the staircase design, and I thought I could put a staircase there, thinking that was the block right there, and it got cut off right here. But actually, that's just the corner of a block right there. So, can't do what I was thinking of doing. Now, what should I do with this? Because could I just, uh, take some birch logs and put it across like that? Because I think that might look good. So let's see if I can do that. See if we can pull that off and have it look nice. Oh, no, 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 no. That's weird. Ouch, I didn't mean to do that. Um, so let's see if this will look good. It probably will. I mean, I don't know. Birch logs are a little bit of a stretch because they're a little weird textured block. That actually looks really good with what we have going here. So, let's put that across. Because it doesn't look half bad. Now, I know we're probably not going to be able to do the same thing all the way down. Because eventually that would just get boring. But right here... Oh, no. This is all going very well, guys. Uh, jump. There we go. This is actually pretty breakable. This, uh, prismarine here. Okay. Am I doing this on the right level? Yeah, I am. It just looks weird, because I don't have anything, uh... 
Oh, I, I did this wrong, right? No, 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 I didn't. I did it right. I just need to do this. There we go. That actually looks really good. I like that. Let's keep that the way it is, but... I think that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Uh, probably before I finish my outro off-camera, I'll get some of these blocks and place them in here. And that'll finish up this entire floor here. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do anything up here or not. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But, I think that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment. Uh, also, before I forget to say it again, just in case you wanted to... A, I don't know, a reminder. I will be getting back to Mirror's Edge. Maybe it'll get posted on the same day. I don't know. Uh, but I do know that as soon as Five Nights at Freddy's 3 comes out, I will be playing that as a series. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. And, uh, Spiffy says goodbye. You're not gonna kill me like the Enderman, are you? No, you're not. Bye! Insert outro here.